Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys the part 29 of the top 10 CD tweaks compatible with iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. Zeal this tweak will replace the stock battery alerts of iOS with this way more advanced battery alerts which from which you can perform different actions and are way more useful than the default alerts that you get on iOS. You can also invoke it using an activator gesture. So here you can see if I double tap on the status bar, it will show zeal here and I can go ahead and enable the low power mode. I can change the brightness or I have the toggles right here. I can go ahead and turn off or on any of them. And also if I swipe here, I have informations about the battery of my device. So under the settings of this tweak, you can enable it. You can change the alert mode right here. You can enable here the active switches. Also, you can set an actual activator method right here to invoke zeal. Mask me 10, this tweak allows you to mask your notifications. So you can change the name of the sender. So if someone sends you a message, you can enter that name here and you can enter the name that you want to change their name to right down here. So whenever you get a notification from that person, it will change their name to the name that you entered down here. Or you can do the same with words. So for example, if I get the word hi on any of my notifications, it will change it into hello. So let's just go to the lock screen and you can see here, if I send a message to myself, I will send hi and you can see right here it will show me hello instead of hi. Hard pass. This tweak allows you to bypass the lock screen passcode by using the volume buttons. So you can see right here I am on the lock screen of my device and here I can bypass the passcode simply by pressing the volume up and the volume down buttons and you can see it will take me to the home screen. So to do this you will need to go to the settings of this tweak and here you will have to enable the tweak then you can set here the passcode length so this is how many times you will have to press the volume buttons and then you can go here to set passcode or go, go here to set passcode let me just enter my old passcode and here I can enter a new passcode so I have it with two presses so I can choose here pattern I will choose double press the volume down button so you can see here let's confirm and now it will add this as the passcode of my device so I can bypass the passcode by double pressing the volume down button so of course I can also go ahead and unlock my device with the Apple passcode repo leak this is a very cool jailbreak app which allows you to browse the new tweaks also you can see the top tweaks the top paid and also the top free tweaks so you will get this icon right here on the home screen and if you open it here will have the top paid tweaks and also you have the top free and if you go to top news here will have all the newest tweaks that have been released mail client default 10 this tweak allows you to change the default mail client on your iOS 10 device. So you enable the tweak right here, then you go here, compose email in, and you can choose here. So the default is inbox, but you can choose Spark, Gmail, Outlook, and also Airmail. Spot Defy. This tweak will show you the dictionary on the spotlight search. So if you search for a word, you can see right here, it will show you the dictionary and it will show you that word right here on the spotlight search of your iOS 10 device. Of course, you will get the results lower here, but the first one will be the dictionary. Can you like not? Everyone that has a jailbroken device, whenever they respring their device, if they have a passcode enabled on their device, it will take them directly to the passcode screen, not to the lock screen. But if you install this tweak when you respring your device, it won't take you directly to the passcode screen of your iOS 10 device, but instead it will take you just to the lock screen, not to the passcode as you can see it right here. Custom lock screen duration. This tweak allows you to set a custom time for the dimming of the lock screen of your device. So normally it's like seven seconds or eight, I think, but with this tweak, you can extend that time up to 40 seconds. No spot 10. This tweak allows you to disable the spotlight search on the home screen of your device. Also on the today's view, you can disable the spotlight search. So you can see here, 
If I swipe down, there is nothing there. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, you can enable it right here. And then you can also enable no spotlight on today's view. And also you can hide the spotlight search bar everywhere with this enable button right here. Then you have also additional features. If you go here and enable it, it will clear the spotlight search when dismissing. So when you dismiss the spotlight search, when you go back to it, it will be cleared. Reacher Switcher. This is a pretty simple tweak. All it does is that it will replace the reachability view with the app switcher. So anytime you double tap on the home screen to go to the reachability view, it will go instead to the app switcher. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. You will find all the links in the description of this video.